Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be covering basics of Git. So first of all, we need to understand what is the repository. So a Git repo is a workspace which tracks and manages files within a folder. Anytime we want to use Git with a project, we need to create a new Git repository. We can have as many repos on our machine as needed, all with separate histories and contents. Yeah, so let's uh, do some analysis on this VS code. Let's create a tree named as one, let's say, goes in this. So uh, now uh, our first git command is like git status. Let's do git status. So what is git status? So git status gives information on the current status of a git repositories and its contents. It is very helpful, but at this moment it will give error because right now we haven't initialized our, our in the repo, our folder. Uh, as git. So we have to initialize this as a git repo. So you can, you can see that there is an error, not a git repository. So for initializing this as a git repo, we have to uh, write command git init. So you can see that uh, it is initialized uh, empty git repo. So what is git init? So we can use git init to create a new uh, git repository. Before we can do anything git related, we must initialize a repo first. This is something you do once per project initialize the repo in the top level folder containing your project. So this is the first uh, step that you do. So there are some workflows related to git. Like, let me show you. First of all, there is a, you can say there is a working directory. Let's right? suppose this is working directory in which we used to do our work. So we, if we uh, add the files present in this, all the files go to this area. So this area is known as the staging area. And if we commit them, then finally they go to the, our repository. So these are the three parts you need to consider so first of all, we have to add the files into the staging area, then they are committed in the repository. So <clears throat> for adding a file, we can use a command called git add and the file name with, this, with that. So use git add to add specific files to the staging area, separate files with spaces to add multiple add files. That's it. So for git commit, uh, we use the git commit command to actually commit the changes from the staging area. When we uh, commit the change, uh, uh, so when uh, making a commit, we need to provide a commit message that summarizes the changes and works snap shorted in the commit. Yeah, so that's all. So We'll be uh, seeing these commands in the next video. This is all for this video. Thank you.